Hello, I'm going to do the Leo Weekly Energy for the 28th to July 4th. And this may or may not resonate with you. Take the pieces that do, leave what does not. Don't try to force something. You'll know if it's meant for you. For some reason, I'm feeling like you feel really alone, like you feel by yourself. Like you feel like you are this hermit. And I feel like you're, you're sort of looking around you and you're saying, you know, what's really going on around me? What's really happening around me? Um, who is it that I have near me that's here to support me and who, who is not? I feel like you have a lot of weight on your shoulders, like you have a lot of things you feel like you're weighed down with things and you're feeling emotional. But the good news is, is that we have the sun card right in the middle of all of this energy that's surrounding. I feel like this is sort of the, the bright spot and this is what's around it. And I feel like this is what is going to grow and is going to move forward. We've got the chariot, the sun, and temperance. So temperance, so it's about being patient. And I almost feel like it's focusing on the sun, focusing on the positive, and leaving behind, you know, the kind of the 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 more difficult things. It's like she's focusing on the yellow and turning away from the blue and I feel like the blue represents the ten of swords and feeling this burden and feeling emotional and trying to turn your energies towards focusing on the sun that's in the middle. And I feel like with the seven of pentacles that you're sort of you know, you're looking back, you're looking over things, you're looking at, um, I just feel like you're looking around you and you're kind of noticing your surroundings more. I feel like you want to change things up and you want to move away from some things because I feel like you're just not happy where you are. All right, so let's look at this hermit. The hermit energy. I feel like you're kind of looking towards the future. Like you, you're stopping and you're, and you're looking. Like I feel like just things have stopped. I feel like you're just kind of, you're in the present and you're looking around you, but you're also looking at what, what things, it's almost stopping you from moving forward because I feel like you're in the now right now. I feel like you're um like you're stuck. Like it's stopping you from moving forward. I 
I feel like you need to lean on someone that you trust, a really good friend, um, someone that you can rely on. I feel like you need to communicate with that person and you have to share, um, like reaching out to them and saying, hey, I'm kind of going through a little bit of a tough, a tough time right here and I really need your support. I feel like you're looking around and you're, and you're also trying to figure out who, who is that friend? Who are those people that you can trust? Who are those people that you can rely on? Who are those people that are important to you um, in your life? I almost feel like you're doing like an, a, a, an assessment, an evaluation of people around you. Um, there's things that you that that feel heavy that you're there are kind of things that you're carrying that you're ready to let go of you're like I've carried this burden long enough like you're cleaning house like you're you're doing an emotional you're doing an emotional cleaning of the house okay and then we have temperance again, and that's about being, you know, having that patience, finding that balance. Again, I feel like it's kind of focusing on this, the sun trying to focus on the positive energy. I feel like you're doing an emotional cleaning of the house. Um, let's see, let's do this chariot. Work. It's, it's almost like you feel like it's going to take work to move forward. And to pull yourself out of this. Um, but I do feel that you need to rely on, you do need to contact somebody that you feel close to that you can rely on almost to release these energies like just not that you're looking for someone to find to give you the answer because I feel like you know what the answer is is that you have to release this emotional you know like I said your, your emotional cleaning house but you need somebody just to listen and so that you can release those things yourself and you can kind of let them go and if not, it could be about writing all of those things down on a piece of paper and getting them out and letting them go. And then, you know, maybe burning the paper, throwing the paper away, um, you know, and kind of releasing your energies that way. Um, let's do this King of Cups. For some reason, he seems to be sticking out to me. Again, Ten of Swords. So you've got a lot of heavy energy, okay? But this Ten of Swords has the sun going through it, okay? This has light going through that. Um, and then we have the World card. And again, we have this light, we have the sun. Um, I feel like you'll have emotional lightness once you do that cleaning you know, once you let those things go, because you've got, um, I feel like a lot of heavy burdens, a lot of stuff weighing you down, and that's what's making you feel alone, um, and that's what's kind of, you're separating yourself from other people, but I do feel um, that, I do feel that you'll get past this, I do feel that you'll move forward, because like I said, we have the sun card right here in the middle, um, and I'm seeing the sun here and here, and it's poking through here. We've got it through these swords. We've got it here on the world card. So I do feel that things will get lighter. So you may start off the week feeling kind of heavy, um, but then I do feel that things will get lighter. And once you're able to let these emotional things go, that you'll feel a lot better. And let's do the Seven of Pentacles. Sometimes we just need to do that. Um, look at that. 
the strength card. There's a Leo being strong. You're a strong person and you know that you can get through this and you know that this is just sort of a, a sort of a downtime for you. Um, this is maybe something that you've been meaning to do for a long time that you just haven't done and it's just sort of piled up and now is the time for you to do that emotional, you know, cleaning um, and purging those, those thoughts, those emotions that have been weighing you down. Um, or it could be, you know, maybe you have a lot of work, maybe you have a lot of things on your plate, and it's about delegating those things to other people instead of carrying the, the load all yourself. I, f I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, like you're carrying it all yourself. And it's time to maybe delegate to other people to have them help you out, maybe close friends or close family members or whatever that is. If you have a lot of responsibilities that maybe you can help have other people help you with that but whatever it is that's bogging you down that's this ten of swords um, and this eight of cups and this ten of wands that's making you feel really feel really heavy um, you know you're going to be able to get through that and it's going to take some work to move forward but I definitely believe you can do that because you're strong and you're determined and You, you'll get through this. All right, so let's get a... Animal Spirit card and close it out. Oh, look at that. That one flipped over. And we have the Dog Spirit. Be loyal to what you love, okay? And I also feel like this is relying on a friend, somebody that's close to you, somebody that you can trust, somebody that understands that, um, you know, they're there to support you through the good times and the bad times, whether that's your partner, whether that's a friend, you know, whoever this best friend um, relates to you. Um, and it's relying on that, you know, and communicating with that person that will help you through this. And just working through this, leaning on that friend. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.